times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. I will bless the Lord at all times. Please so stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, we commemorate three saints, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. You know, formerly, it was only Martha, Saint Martha, that our church commemorated. Hindi kasali si Mary at saka si Lazarus because there has been uncertainty about the identity of Mary. But Pope Francis, in 2021, decreed that in the household of Bethany, the Lord Jesus experienced the family spirit and friendship of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Kaya... This is the reason why the two were also included in commemoration. I remember in 2022, yeah, we brought the Nazareno to the church in Bethany where this gospel happened. 
And now the Nazareno is staying there in Bethany. It's near Jerusalem, just walking distance. And in our gospel today, the spirit of friendship, the spirit of family was felt by Jesus. This is what our gospel is all about. How Mary and Martha served Jesus and how they made Jesus felt the family spirit. It was Martha who accepted Jesus in their home. Looking at the gesture of Martha, we could say that she is the active type. She's the active type. She was busy preparing something for Jesus. Sa tingin ko, karamihan naman sa atin ganun. Kapag may bisita tayo, we always want the best. We always show the best. Uh, ganyan ang hospitality natin. Uh, more so, it was Jesus. Kung ibang tao, pinagkakaabalahan, si Jesus pa. Ang Diyos ang bumisita. Probably, Martha would just want Jesus to experience the best service that she could. But due to her excessive preparations, she could not help but complain to Mary, who was sitting at the feet of Jesus, listening to his teaching. And I could say, Mary in the language of the church, is the contemplative type. Later on, Jesus acknowledged Mary for choosing the better part. One active and the other is contemplative. These are the spiritualities that we could learn from the two sisters. There is nothing wrong with Martha's choice of being active, wala pong masama doon. Talaga naman, dapat kumikilos tayo. But the spirit of contemplative should not be disregarded. Just like going to Mass every day. Marami dito, no? halos araw-araw nagsisimba. Nakikita ko, nagsisimba. There is no sense if we will just only pray and no actions is seen from us. Dasal tayo ng dasal, pero hindi tayo marunong tumulong sa ating kapwa. Simba ka ng simba, pero hindi ka marunong maawa sa iyong kapwa. Wala kang nararamdamang awa. There's something wrong with your spirituality. What is your prayer all about? Panghingi mo lang sa Diyos para lang sa pansarili mo? There's a big problem with your spirituality. If you know how to pray, but you do not know how to act. Hindi din naman pwedeng puro gawa at hindi tayo marunong magdasal. There should be a perfect balance between being active and being contemplative. You know, even monks who most of the time pray have also time to work. My dear brothers and sisters, being active and contemplative are spiritualities that should not be taken apart. For prayer is useless without action.